Hey guys, today we're going to answer the question, how do I write common denominators with equivalent fractions? So when we are adding and subtracting fractions, there must be common denominators between the fractions such as two-fifths and three-fifths. To add and subtract fractions that have different denominators, we will write them as equivalent fractions with common or the same denominators. So we're just going to write equal fractions, but we're going to change those fractions to have common denominators so that we're able to add or subtract them. So let's talk about how to create equivalent fractions. So to create equivalent fractions, we want to multiply the numerator and the denominator of a fraction by the same number, such as 2 over 2 or 13 over 13. If you noticed, both of those numbers simplify to 1. That's why the fraction remains equivalent, because when we multiply by 1, it doesn't change the number. So we will pick specific numbers to multiply each fraction by so that they end up with common denominators. So let's talk about how to get those common denominators. We're going to list the multiples for each denominator. And then we will circle the least number that they have in common. This is the common denominator. And then we will create equivalent fractions that have this common denominator. Remember, we will be multiplying the numerator and the denominator within a fraction by the same number to create those equivalent fractions. So let's start with number one. We want to write the numbers below as equivalent fractions with common denominators. So it's best to start with the smaller number because sometimes you won't even need to change the larger number. So we're gonna start by listing out the multiples of three. So three times one is three. 3 times 2 is 6, and then 3 times 3 is 9, which if you notice, that is the same as this denominator. So if I change this fraction to have a denominator of 9, then they will have those common denominators. So I'm going to multiply this fraction by a 3 over 3. And then remember to multiply, we just multiply across. 3 times 2 is 6, and then 3 times 3 is 9. And then the 4 ninths, I didn't even need to change this time. And now I have fractions with common denominators. Okay, let's look at number 2. I have 2 fifths, or 2 fifteenths and 2 fifths. So let's start with the 2 fifths. I'm going to write out some multiples of 5 and see if I can get to 15. So 5 times 1 is 5, 5 times 2 is 10, 5 times 3 is 15. There is that common number of 15. So if I multiply this fraction by 3 over 3, then I will get common denominators. So the 2 fifteenths can stay, and then three 2 times 3 is 6, and 5 times 3 is 15. So there's the equivalent fractions with common denominators. Okay, let's look at number 3. It says write the numbers below as equivalent fractions with common denominators. So 3 and 4 are pretty close together, so I'm probably going to have to list multiples for both of those numbers and change both of these fractions. So let's start with the denominator of 3. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 4 is 12. I'm going to stop there, and now what I'm going to do is list multiples of 4 and see when I get the same number as one of the multiples of 3. So 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, and then 4 times 3 is 12. So there is the common multiple between them. So I want to multiply 1 third by 4 over 4. And I want to multiply 3 fourths by 3 over 3. And that will get me common denominators. 
So let's start with this one right here. Four times one is four and four times three is 12. And then three times three is nine and four times three is 12. So there's the equivalent fractions to one third and three fourths, but now they have common denominators. Okay, let's look at number four, one half and five ninths. So I'm going to start out by listing multiples of two. So two times one is two, two times two is four, two times three is six, two times four is eight, um, those are not even above nine, so none of those are gonna work. I'm actually gonna erase those. I'm gonna start with two times five. That's 10, two times six is 12, two times seven is 14, two times eight is 16, two times nine is 18. Okay, I got to the same number as the denominator, so I'm gonna stop there and see if any of the numbers below it works, but I might just have to do times nine. So now I'm listing multiples of nine. So nine times one is nine, and then nine times two is 18. So that is what I'm going to aim for here, getting that common denominator of 18. So I'm gonna to have to multiply one half by nine over nine. And then I will multiply five ninths by two over two. So nine times one is nine, and nine times two is 18. And then five times two is 10, and nine times two is 18. So there are the equivalent fractions to one half and five ninths. They just have those common denominators of 18. Okay, let's look at number five. I need to get equivalent fractions with seven twelfths and one eight. So let's start with 12. I know that 12 times one is 12 and then 12 times two is 24. And I know that 24 is a multiple of eight because eight times three is 24. So I'm gonna stop right there. And I'm gonna list the multiples of eight. Eight times one is eight. Eight times two is 16. And then eight times three is 24. So there's the common denominator that I wanna get. So to get that denominator of 12 to be 24, I will multiply by two over two. And then to get that denominator of eight to be 24, I will multiply by three over three. So two times seven is 14 and two times 12 is 24. And then one times three is three and eight times three is 24. So there's the equivalent fractions to seven twelfths and one eight with common denominators of 24. Okay, let's look at number six. We're gonna write the numbers below as equivalent fractions with common denominators. So I have 10 and 15. So let's start with 10. I'm gonna list out multiples of 10. 10 times one is 10. 10 times two is 20. And 10 times three is 30. And I'm gonna stop there because I know that 15 goes in to 30. So let's list out multiples of 15. 15 times one is 15, and 15 times two is 30. So there's the least common multiple of these numbers. 10 times three is 30, 15 times two is 30. So I'm gonna multiply three tenths by three over three. And I'm gonna multiply six fifteenths by two over two. So three times three is nine and three times 10 is 30. Six times two is 12, and 15 times two is 30. So there are my equivalent fractions with common denominators of 